Over the last few years, cities have become hybrid areas. Importance has shifted away from centres, moving towards fluid areas. In these areas, information becomes more intense. Urban design is evolving towards an idea of something that's open, fluid and changeable. You create atmospheres, you create spaces, you um, alight streets. You can emphasize the ideas of different um, spaces. Modernity has been characterized by growth in terms of quantity, cubic meters, volumes and heights. Now, light has transformed those quantities into quality. Planned lighting opens out areas that are coherent with a new idea of development. Lighting can make the urban landscape into a system, different subjects and objects, drawing the city's assets together. Good lighting can promote economic growth in the area. You've got to provide lighting for safety, you've got to provide lighting to reduce crime, but also you can produce lighting to create interest. Iguzzini has focused on these themes over the decades. Nuvola, which was designed by Renzo Piano and won the Compasso d'Oro in 1998, is not only a fitting with the function of producing light during the evening, but also stands as a piece of art during the day. Every city teams with different forms, contrasts and dispersion. Design and research into modular systems and solutions solve the incoherency of form to bring style and meaning. Repetitions, connections, rhythms and flows. Urban spaces make the connection between content and time. These new cultural and urban landscapes are emphasized using modular, connected equipment systems. Industrial design has also become an ideological stance, creating a balance between technological hypermodernism and an excess of historical memory. Balance is one way in which inhabitants can reclaim their city. Capitalizing on works, on the hierarchy of spaces and on the landscape becomes a sustainable act if based on the idea that more quality means more available energy. This is why in some cases urban regeneration has become a laboratory for the application of new clean energy technologies. New public lighting uses technology, equipment and strategies based on LEDs, light-emitting diodes. Extremely interesting installations have been completed in Italy in the cities of Piacenza, Lodi and Alexandria. Mayors are on the lookout for solutions combining energy, light and cost efficiency. I think the LED solution is the answer to all three objectives. This project has a truly high worth, since its value lies in improved performance and therefore in a positive effect on citizens in terms of lighting, that is, road and traffic safety. On the other hand, it also saves energy, which is most important both in economic terms and in terms of its contribution to the quality of the environment. It's like when we went from gas to electric lighting. Now this may seem like rhetoric, but that's how it is, because we're going from lighting using incandescent lamps or metal vapor something like that, to lighting with a whole different philosophy and dimension. Therefore, it's the exact same thing as when the first electricity systems were introduced to cities in the early 20th century.
The earliest experiment showed that by using LEDs, it was possible to save more than 40% of energy compared to the more efficient traditional technologies and up to 60% more compared to less efficient traditional technology. LED equipment is now an industrial product. Developed together with NL Soli, Arche Lady produces white light with high color rendering, improving visual perception and making it easier to identify figures and obstacles. The optics developed by Iguzzini house the LEDs and control the flow of light onto the road surface, so it is even, allowing an increased distance between lighting points and eliminating stray light so that the lighting focuses only where it's needed. New equipment, complete with intelligent electronics, has made it possible to adjust each lighting point, making it flexible. LEDs are tools to be used just like any other light, cold cathode or, you know, incandescent. They're just, it's like paint for a painter. Iguzzini's LED project has passed from the experimental stages into industrial production. Lavinia, Argo and Delphi have made it possible to bring together design, style and efficiency. Through Iguzzini, energy savings and the quality of light and shape have brought design into the streets. This new value lies in the development of cutting-edge technology and shape solutions integrated into their urban context. LEDs have constant growth in terms of light flow and therefore I imagine that in two or three years the light flow for individual LEDs will be greater. LED technology has made it possible to come up with better answers to time-old questions, but it's also brought new design themes. Light is increasingly a means of innovation, reorganization and planning for urban systems. We need to get to a place where we're uh, lighting the environment we want to light. So just the streets, not into people's houses, not off into parkland. We need that control to say, OK, we're going to do, we're going to light this corridor, but we're not going to throw light up in the air. Flexibility, precision, efficiency and customization. Public lighting has a new role, but above all, it's become a means to raise quality in terms of urban living, mobility and work, responding to new demands to be cost-effective and eco-friendly.